guys think I'm doing this, that'd be hard. Hopefully be crazy. Guys, it, it looked like the first half wasn't maybe the most uh, crisp that you guys have played all season. It seemed like Coach Holtman was maybe trying to emphasize that a little bit. What uh, to play maybe that way and still get a lopsided win like this? What are you guys taking out of out of some of these games here? Um, we just know that uh, you know there's there's in in a game of basketball there's, there's runs and one team's gonna make a good run and other teams gonna make a good run. So. Um, you know, just consistently uh, putting into each other's brains, play the right way the whole game the, all the time. Um, you know, sometimes you're going to shoot the ball, it's not going to go in. So, uh, you know, we've been shooting really well, and uh, it's, it's been going really well in practice too. But, uh, you know, there's going to be one of those days where it's not going to fall, and uh, we just have to still figure out a way to uh, pull it out. So just playing our game every single game that we play. EJ, what was, what was said at halftime? How did, what were you guys trying to address at the half? Um... It was just they were forcing, making us shoot a lot of threes, and half of our shots were threes coming into the first half. And we just wanted to focus on keep touching the paint and keep playing together, and everybody's going to um, shine. So that's what we did, and that's how we got off to a great run and a great start in the second half. Dwayne, you had five assists today. A lot of those came early on. Where where are you at as far as looking for guys uh, trying to make plays and how you develop in that regard? Uh, yeah, uh, I just was. Uh, taking what the defense was giving me, just uh, being aggressive as always, and uh, if somebody helps up, it's it's a drop off or it's a it's a, if they help too far, and, and they're a big uh, closing in team. That's what we talked about during the week. So uh, you get to the paint, uh, uh, all five of their guys uh, crash to the paint as well. So just finding guys kicking out and knowing the game plan. And EJ, coach talked about how you have good timing on blocking shots. Um, how is that part of your game? How do you think you can do that to help this team defensively? Um, I feel like standing on my feet and not fouling is a big part. And giving up free throws, those are free. So, I mean, those are easy baskets. But I feel like walling up and just trying to time shots or it like is, has been my thing for a while. My mom says I get it from her because she played volleyball and she used to spike. So she said I get it from her. But I feel like that's going to help the team out a lot this year. This is for either of you guys. This is the fifth straight game you guys have you know, force the team under 35% shooting. I guess, like, what's been the emphasis defensively and why have you guys been able to do that? Uh, I think, um, you know, like I said, just the same approach every single day. Um, uh, you know, we're, we're all serious-minded guys uh, right now, and, you know, we're going to we're gonna keep that throughout the rest of the season. But, um, you know, in practice, we've been locked in on the details and, and, and the little things, and I think that's um, one reason why we're, we're playing the way we are. And, and uh, you know we're not going to stray away from it. We're going to uh, stick to those um, hard everyday practices. So. You guys are out there, so like, is it? You guys are just contesting a lot of shots, or is it like even the good looks teams are getting, they're still not making those shots, and you guys are kind of catching a break? Um, I feel like our scout team helps us a lot, and they is great preparation leading us into the game. So we we go over it a lot. Um, their personnel. So I feel like every time we get a good stop, that creates our offense. So we just focus on that. How important in some of these games when you guys are winning convincingly is to keep that defensive mindset, knowing what's coming down the road? Uh, yeah, um, defensively is, is like Coach Holt's uh, Stilo, the Ohio State Stilo. You know, we got to play defense, and and that's going to kickstart everything else that we do. So, um, you know, and, and if you play defense on a consistent basis, like I said, some nights the shots aren't going to fall. But you know, if you stay on top of your details and, and the little things on, on the defensive side. Uh, it just creates offense. It creates um, struggles for them mentally and physically. So uh, I think that's a big part of our, our, our game here. Uh, Coach Holman said a couple guys have been sick and banged up and things like that. How are you guys feeling? You know, day by day. You know, just we're grinding, uh, love life, um, blessed to, to be here and, and a part of this organization. So um, whether we got the snuffles or whatever, you know, we're going to come every day and attack it. And, and uh, hopefully we all feel better. But. Feeling it tonight a little bit? Uh, maybe a couple guys here and there, but uh, for the majority, I think um, you know we've been drinking a lot of fluids, uh, staying on top of, uh, of of our rooms being clean and all that good stuff. So, and, and then for both of you guys, you're going to St. John for your next game, and I know obviously Dwayne, you played there last year. But what does it mean to, to play there? And, and EJ, do you know much about that arena? <laughs> um, I know it's just like a great tradition there, and they played basketball there for a long time. And last year they. I like the throwback jerseys. I've been waiting to wear those. And I just see, like, we practice in there a few times. I just love the atmosphere and that's in the gym. And I feel like that gym is going to get really loud when it comes Monday.
Yeah, uh, I'm super excited to get to play in St. John's. Uh, like he just said, I'm excited to wear something else other than white. So we've been wearing white for a minute now. Um, but yeah, uh, we've practiced twice in there. It's been pretty well, been well, and it gets loud in there. Like EJ said, he's, he's right about that, and it feels like they're on top of you. So it's going to be a great atmosphere. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.